everyone, it's Yvonne here from Share It For. Welcome back. And if you're new here, hello, I'd love you to join us. One of my lovely viewers has asked for inspiration, ideas, suggestions on a footwear and trouser combination. And it's a really good question and it can be quite a wide and all-embracing answer. Um, but what I want to focus in on and share with you are the things that work for me. Um, and so I hope that that helps. Um, as I say, I'll share my hints and tips. As I say, that things have worked for me and do work for me. So I want to begin by turning it on its head. So let's get started. So I've just mentioned that um, I want to turn this request on its head. And by that I mean I want to focus in on the trouser. Um, and that's quite important for me really, um, because for me, being able to wear a pair of trousers with any type of shoe that I have is really important. I hope you've picked up from me is that I like wearability. I don't like things the best. I like to get wear out of things. By the way, if you can hear something in the background, it's absolutely um, horrendous weather outside. It's snow, it's sleet, it's, it's, it's a bit of everything at the moment. So if you can hear pitter patter, um, that's what it is. So, so let's carry on. So trousers are the key formula, I think, to then getting the right footwear. And I think I've mentioned this before, um, but for me, I like trousers to either hit at the ankle or I do like a crop trouser as well. And doing that, and if I can't find that, so for example, you've all seen these Marks and Spencer's trousers if you've seen any of my Marks and Spencer haul videos. Um, now the Marks and Spencer's trouser length that I've mentioned before, the trouser lengths have changed. So what was a standard 29 inside leg is no longer. I think the standard is now 31. So they've expanded their range. However, the short, which they say is 29, doesn't fit me. So I now get them tailored. And to me, that's a worthwhile investment because that will hit where I want it to hit. So regardless of the trousers, so the trousers I'm wearing, um, these are a velvet trouser, so these didn't have to be altered. They hit at my ankle, so I can wear any type of shoe that I want to that will go with this trouser. Likewise, these are a pair of ski jeans. You've seen me wearing these jeans before. Um, these jeans hit me at the ankle. Likewise, these trousers here are quite similar to those ones there in that they're a wide leg. And what I want to do here is pull out a different range of trousers that I have. So for example, both, both of these trousers are a wide leg and I like them to hit at my ankle so I can wear, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute when we try things on in different combinations. But for me, that means that I had to get these ones tailored, for example, again, because they were exceptionally long um, and I could wear them with a higher boot and higher shoe. But do I really want to confine myself to wearing a higher boot and higher shoe? Now, my lovely viewer t said to me, and she's not alone, and I would echo this, in that generally she doesn't wear high heels. And quite honestly, how many of us in our day-to-day 99% of our lives wear high heels. We probably save them for either special occasions or we're just dashing in and out. People, so some people do and that is absolutely great. And if that's you, that's absolutely marvellous. Um, but for me, what I'm sharing with you, that I'm not that person. So yes, there are occasions when I wear something in high heels, however, I don't want to wear them all the time, but I do want to get the most out of my trousers. So I have them tailored um, and I don't mind if I am then wearing them 
and obviously they hit at the ankle and I've got a higher pair of shoes on. For me, having the ankle, which is a nice, a really nice part of your leg, um, seen is an actual good thing. And also as well, you actually get to see your shoe. It's not hidden by your trouser hanging over the shoe, if that makes sense. So I do that for, for both of these. And I also like a crop trouser as well. So these will hit at the ankle, and these are a tailored trouser. You've seen these before, these are the H&M ones I picked up. I've got those in the camel, and that's a navy pair. And I also like them cropped. Oops. Let's disentangle one. Um, I also like them in a wide crop as well. Um, and I'll show you how I can wear these in a variety of ways as well. I also have here a pair of leggings. I featured these, I think, in my first Marks and Spencer haul. In fact, these were the leggings that sparked that first Marks and Spencer video that I wanted to share with you. Um, and these hit at my ankle as well. Likewise, very much like these, I can wear a variety of shoes. And so this also, you've seen these, in this Marks and Spencers, these are only £17.50. This slim kick flare, what to say? So the slim, click, slim kick flare trouser. Um, and I had these tailored because the short for me was, even though I crop, but they were exceptionally cropped. Um, they didn't fit well overall at all, at all. So I got the regular length. And I could have worn those, which I did do, I think, in one of the videos, with a pair of boots that had a bit of a heel on. Um, and they fitted with that. But did I really want to confine myself to just wearing those trousers with those boots? So and the answer is no, I don't. So I had those tailored as well. And I just go in to the tailors uh, with a pair of flats and just ask them to tailor the things to me. So that's a run through of the different types of trousers and, and the lengths that I like to, to wear and how I wear them. So let's have a look at some shoe combinations that I wear with these. So let's have a look at the ones that I'm actually wearing. So these are a backless loafer. And honestly, if you don't have one of these um, in your shoe wardrobe, I highly recommend them. Um, I've got a few pairs of these and they are well worn. Um, these are actually in stock, had a look, so I will link the exact ones to these. Um, but these have been such a good buy. Um, either A, when it's horrible like this and you just want to wear something a bit more of a shoe rather than a slipper, but also in summer, I think it looks quite really quite really elegant so if you haven't got a backless loafer honestly I highly recommend them the other, so let's have a look at what I have on the rail here so ballet pumps and there's two types here that I've got to share with you these you have seen many times and these are quite a flat uh, ballet ballet pump. I bought these a few years ago from Marks and Spencer. Um, they haven't got this one in at the moment, but they do have one. There's a plain black that's exactly the same as this, so I'll link that below. These I've had quite a lot of wear out of, and um, these are a bit of an almond toe at the front here as well. But I also have a ballet pump in a pointed toe as well. Now. Depending on what you like, A, these are both great. Um, if you are looking to elongate your foot, shall we say, so if you're looking to have that nice pointed toe, which is very elongating on the foot, then this style can be your friend. Um, but likewise, I do get a lot of wear. I do like these as well, this almond toe. I think it's, I think they're both flattering, but if you're looking for something that is more foot lengthening, then that can be your friend. Likewise, a pair of 
slingbacks. Now, I've had these for quite a few years. In fact, the other day I had to have them healed. Um, I've had such a lot of wear out of them. Um, a bit more statement, so it's a kitten heel. Um, it's a slingback. But I can't tell you how much wear I have out of these. I wear them in trousers, skirts, dresses, jeans. And that's the point as well, really, because I like the juxtaposition of something quite casual with something quite smart. So these can be very much, very, you know, a good investment, I suppose, is what I want to say here. Moving down to, how could I mention, loafers, and not show you these as well. These are, again, a most worn pair of loafers. These are from Marks and Spencers. Um, they're still doing a variation of this, so I'll link that below as well. Likewise, um, I wear these all year round, so they've been a good investment. They're quite a few years old now, um, still going strong. Um, but likewise, I can wear them with jeans and I can wear them with trousers as well. So they elevate a jean and they look equally elevating with a normal pair of trousers as well. So uh, if you haven't got something like this, it can be very, very um, easy to wear, very comfortable and in my view, quite chic. The other, thing, the other two pairs that I've got here to share with you are a white pair of... Uh, they're actually called a trainer, but in my view, they're more of a shoe trainer, if that makes sense. So, for example, they're not like your, your gym trainers. So these, these are different. And these are a pair of Oaks, they're in cream. Um, and I can't tell you, I bought these earlier on the year, and I think I shared that in one of my haul videos. I think it was the MacArthur Glen one. Um, and I can't tell you how much use I've had of these. They're wearing with both trousers um, and also dresses. If you've seen my holiday uh, video, what I wore on holiday, um, I wore these quite a few times, both with trousers and with my dresses when we were walking out into the town in the evening. So again, a good combination. And the last pair I want to share with you is, is a real chunky boot. Um, and I'm sharing these with you because I can wear these with anything that I've got on that rail. Uh, and that is the point of the selection of why I've picked out the ones that I have to share with you. Um, these look quite chunky, but in my view, I think they look really chic. Um, I found something quite similar to this, so I'll link that below as well. Um, I bought these, I think it was last year, just before winter arrived. Um, and I can't tell you how uh, much wear I had out of these already. In fact, when we went to Bista in April, um, I took these and another pair of boots. And honestly, they were so warm and comfortable. I've had such a lot of wear out of them. By the way, I do look after um, all of the shoes and boots. So these I'll spray before I wear them. Oh, I should say my husband does for me anyway. Um, so do spray them. Um, after I've worn them, I always clean the soles off. So if you think these are all brand new, they're not. Um, I do clean the soles of shoes. Um, I don't walk around after I've worn them outside. Um, so before I put them away, I'll clean the soles and I'll give them a wipe with a leather wipe. Um, so I do look after things. Um, and so that keeps them, I think, look, looking really nice um, when you're about to wear them. So that's a, a run through in terms of, and I felt it important really to focus in first of all on the trouser because the trouser length for me um, is actually key to the whole thing because you then get that wearability in your shoes. So let's have a try on and let's
let's do some combinations. Okay, so two boots had fallen behind. I wonder where they'd gone. So and I, there are two pairs that I wanted to share with you in addition to the ones I have already. And it's, first of all, it's this type of boot. So it's an ankle boot, a bit of a, a bit more of a, I wouldn't call it a kitten, a bit more of a, but it's that kind of shape. So it's a bit more modern uptake on the kitten, um, but immensely comfortable and very flattering. This is a nice pointed toe. So on your foot, that's about quite elongating. I found something quite similar to this. So I'll link that below as well. So again, a really good pair of boots. Um, and the other pair that I have a great deal of uh, use out of is a Chelsea boot. Um, and these are a navy suede. I've had these for quite a few years um, and they've lasted exceptionally well. But this Chelsea boot style, I think, is immensely wearable and immensely flattering and goes with a range of things um, that I have. So again, that style um, wearing with your trousers, I think, is exceptionally flattering. So let's try some different combinations on them.
So I hope that was really helpful. Um, descriptions and links for products that I've shown or things that are quite similar will be in the description box below. So do check that out as well. Um, as I say, the things that um, I wear, I wear all the time. So, you know, it's things that work for me and possibly then might work for you as well. Uh, I hope you found it really helpful. If you haven't already, do please subscribe. It means a lot to the channel going forward. Do consider giving me a big thumbs up. That's always helpful and nice to see as well. Um, do share a comment below. I do love reading your comments. You always leave such wonderful um, comments for me. So honestly, thank you for that. So there'll be a summary of, of outfits and different combinations next. So, so stay around for that. And until the next one, cheer everyone. Bye.